happy Friday. Um, I'm going to try to use, I'm Erica from Erica LOL Beauty and Reviews. I'm going to try to use today with this little chit chat, get ready with me kind of thing that I try to do on Fridays. Um, this week has been hell, but I'm going to try, like right now I'm going to record and then I'm going to record a video for tomorrow. So, um, in the comments below, let me know, is it better to do, um, you know what, I'll just do a community post because I'm trying to think my schedule through, I'm trying to get everything together and, um, yeah. Okay, so today I'm going to try to do a lot of makeup that you can only get at, um, Sephora because they're having their sale right now and um technically I haven't bought anything from there but I am going to use their foundation because believe it or not it's one of my favorites their best skin ever foundation I even have a backup of it and I'm honestly thinking I'm getting another backup but I don't want it to go bad before I'm able to use it so I'm not probably gonna do that I'll wait till their next sale at the end of the year and do it then probably um I just went through my stuff and found as much stuff as I could that is offered at um Ul Ulta offered at Sephora I'm not sponsored by the way um this is all just things I have that is offered at Sephora and some stuff that's not because let's be let's face it I don't buy a lot of expensive makeup I try to find sales okay so speaking of I got this from the boxycharm but rare beauty is offered at Sephora and for the sale I was trying to get the um this hold on this is the um always an optimist illuminating primer and um, I was trying to get like a full face of Rare Beauty. Um, I was putting it in the cart because I was like, okay, there's a sale. I'll go and finish getting the cl entire collection, which I'm doing with, I'm going to try to do with item, but I don't think they have a lot of stuff. I think I got everything. Um... But the foundation and the concealer is sold out. I'm like, well, there goes that. <laughs> I like the way this feels going on. It doesn't really bring an illumination. Oh, there's some illumination. Not sure if you want your forehead to be illuminated. but I love how it feels. It feels like it's sinking in. I love when something feels like a moisturizer. <laughs> so, but I got this on the um, BoxyCharm website, I believe. Okay. I'm going to get, use this best skin ever. You could tell. One of my favorite. And like I said, I have a backup of it. So, all right. We're going to use... The, a brush first. Um, do I have a brush that's only available at um, Sephora? No. My brushes are all ones you could get at Ulta or Amazon. The only thing I hate about using brushes lately when I'm putting my foundation on Is it doesn't feel like it's putting it on feels like it's okay it doesn't feel like it's blending into my skin as well as it used to it almost feels like it's just putting it on top of my skin so you'll see me go over I will go over it with this kind of meld it into the skin or get rid of any extra I use this foundation a lot which is why but like I was saying I might get another one because right now everyone gets 30% off of Sephora brands 
no lie. So if there's something from the Sephora brand that you wanted to try, you got till the 11th and it's 30% off with their sale. You gotta, I think you gotta put that code in. And that's a good time if you have favorites even to go ahead and get it. You can see, like I told y'all, I love this new camera because you can see so much more. The only dark spot it don't cover is this one, this one, and that one. The darkest ones. Oh, my hand, I was doing laundry yesterday. And um, I went from this room, putting some blankets up, to leave to go to the bedroom and put the um, clothes away and holding the basket I punched the side of the door frame so that hurt <laughs> all right we got that blended in I don't have a foundation I mean a conceal do I have a concealer that's available at Ulta I mean yeah I have ones lots of them that are available at Ulta I don't think I have one that you could only get at Sephora. I don't even think I have one you could get at Sephora. No, I don't. See, like I said, I don't shop there a lot. I need to use this one pretty soon. I need to do that ordinary thing. Um... Oh, wait, here's one. We'll use the Born This Way Concealer Contour Highlight Retouch by Too Faced. I didn't actually go to Sephora to get it. I got it through BoxyCharm. Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to try to get a full face of Sephora brand makeup? Like their um, concealer, bronzer, blush and see how it works I've been working in the yard a lot lately trying to get my plants going for the summer and back alive from the winter cleaning the pool which seems to be a long process this year because Usually, I will keep it from getting green during the winter, and I was dealing with medical issues, if you remember, through the winter, so I let it go. I kept a lot of leaves from getting in it, but I didn't keep it from getting dark and green, so I've been working with that. I know this is a, this exists. I'm trying to find the um there it is. The Anastasia contour stick because my face looks really light. So let's add some of the shadow back to it. Just a little bit because like I said I've been working in the yard. And that's almost what I plan to do when I get done here. And Jason got a boat. So he will come home from work and go straight. Um, he'll eat like dinner. And then him and his buddies go out fishing tonight. Probably in the morning. Because, and then that'll be it. First time in three weeks. That I'll actually have a time to spend with him this weekend. If so, maybe I'll do like a little family day vlog. Like if we go decide to go to the park or something. Not that that works. Because Eric, for some reason, doesn't want to go to a new park. He wants to go to the old one. Where all he does, literally, is go down the slide. 
Then he walks from the slide to the water and then back to the car. And that's it. We go home. For National um, World Autism Day the other day, we tried to take him to a park that had a train there because he loves trains and he wanted nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing. I hate when it looks like that right there. Kind of muddy. All right, let me find, I forgot to get a powder out that you could only get at Ulta. some Becca cover effects is cover effects you know what makeup forever cover effects we got three different choices here let's go ahead with the hourglass is available at Ulta now right but you know what it's also if I'm not mistaken available at Sephora too so we're gonna use though um, cover effects I think they're still around so many store um, brands have closed, and I don't even know how to pay, keep track anymore. I'm just going to set the cream products. I like how this powder looks. It does kind of blur everything. Wow. See that? That's where I ran into the other door the other day, last weekend. <laughs> I put a post up yesterday on my Facebook for my family and everything. I was like, if I wasn't clumsy, I don't think I'd even be interesting. And took a picture of that. And my friend that I play Fortnite with and um, some other games, because yes, I do game. I've thought about starting a channel, but I don't have a camera to look at. And sometimes we're on there playing and we get a little rambunctious, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I don't want to have to tell my friends to censor themselves, like their cuss words. And I don't want to make a channel that's not friendly for kids, so... It's kind of a give take thing there. I'm gonna use this NARS Laguna bronzer. I know if I'm not mistaken, NARS is available at Ulta, but like I say, I don't have a lot that's only available at Sephora. If you made it this far, um, in the video, let me know your favorite brand at Sephora. I do that every once in a while for anyone who's new that's made it this far. I will just randomly in the middle of a video tell you to do something and make it like you didn't have, like you didn't ask it so that someone can't just look at the comments and see. Um, and since I'm saying get ready with me, chit chat, get ready with me, Sephora found brands, um, it ain't gonna look like I asked that question, I don't think. This is, um, Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. I'm using the blush. Now we'll take the glow part because I don't know what 
Um, glow part is beautiful. This is the mini, <laughs> by the way. I And I bought it during a Sephora sale. If that tells y'all how much I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff, that should do it. All right, we're going to use the One Size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist. I finally got the sprayer to work right. I love when something smells good and feels good going on my face. Whereas Dollar Tree. I just noticed it looks like my face is thinning back out from the problems I was having. It does. Okay, cool. All right. I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and start the, let's do the brows. I think I had the, I could have sworn I had one sitting here. by Anastasia. There it is. Okay, this is the brow definer. And I know you could get this at Ulta. In fact, this is where I got this little sample. It was at Ulta, but I do believe they're also sold at Sephora, so. And I don't think I have anything that's exclusively at Sephora over here, so. I'm gonna get my eyebrows tweezed pretty soon. Not tweezed, um, shaved. I wanna make an appointment at Ulta with the Benefit Brow Bar people. I don't know how much it costs though. I've been using that castor oil to um, grow them out more. But I also noticed since my doctor took me off of some of my vitamins that my hair is my eyebrows aren't growing as fast as I would like them to luckily for me I didn't tweeze a lot when I was growing up like a lot of my friends and like a lot of beauty gurus that have the little thin eyebrows and um or whatever you call them influencers beauty gurus people <laughs> that's what I call them um, let's see, we got this Anastasia little brow gel. Let's I've never tried the brow gel, I don't think. I got it as a sample, as you could tell, because it's a little tiny thing. Then we're going to use the Lawless, the baby one, because it's got simple, very simple color story inside. And I thought that would be perfect for a day I'm not really doing anything besides sitting here talking to you. All right. Putting all these brushes back where they're supposed to be. That might be what I buy from Ulta's sale because I haven't figured out, but I like this stuff. Which I could talk about in the next video, but it's um, Cinema Secrets. Um, this is almost out, which is making me really sad. Listen, it's literally right here. So I'm trying not to use it. I gotta get on 
and buy another one because I actually that is one of my new favorites <laughs> by Maven rose setting water okay we're gonna use this and we're gonna let me go ahead and just quickly swatch here's the first row these are rough swatches there's no colors names on here I got a wet wipe okay so they're like berries I would say uh, my watch keeps kicking on clicking on clicking on clicking on okay so we're gonna go in the first sh second shade on the first row which is like a light brown I thought looks like that's a light berry almost on here Maybe not. Alrighty, there we go. It's the transition shade. All right, we got the transition shade. There is a nice bit of fallout on here. Let me see if I can show you. Like in the pan, it's like. I don't know. It's good though. It's not bad. I just dug my hand in one of them. All right, let's go in like this second shade on the bottom row. It's like a mauve shade, maybe. Let's try to. And I know I do this differently than a lot of people. As I'm laying it down, I'm blending it through the crease I just try to make it easier for myself because like if I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere and Eric realizes it I gotta hurry so it's so funny because sometimes when I'm getting, we're getting ready to go somewhere, I'll sit in here and talk to myself like I'm doing a video so that Eric doesn't realize I'm trying to go somewhere just so I have time <laughs> to do what I want to do to my face because I feel like it's just a day I want to wear more makeup than normal. <laughs> Let me, well, none of y'all probably do that. None of y'all probably have to worry about doing that because... If you're getting ready, your children usually know you're going somewhere or um, we're going to use this. Um, oh, we're going to use this flat brush by Ulta Beauty. And we're going to go into the shimmer shade on the bottom row. There's a slight darker shade than the one on the top row. And we're going to place that on the lid like so. I think this look is turning out so beautiful on these eyes. I'm just blending above and right here on the side just to kind of blend it into that color. You know how sometimes you just want that dramatic look on your eyes? I think that's what I went for here. Let me find a pencil type brush. 
I'm going to use this flat brush. It's by Alamar, I believe. It's erased. It's right there. It's like a pencil flat brush. I'm going to take that crease shade. And I want to eyeline it across the bottom. Now I want to take this brush that we use for the first shade. And just kind of smoke that bottom shade, that bottom lash. <sighs> Did I get the other one out? No, I didn't. Okay. We're going to go ahead and curl the lashes. I found my lash curler the other day. It's an elf one. Oh, let me go ahead and put some, um, where's my pencil brush? Right there. We're going to use the top shade, put it on the inner corner to brighten that inner corner up a little bit. And then we're going to put some on the tail end of the brow bone. And I want to grab a blending brush. This is Morphe M519. Let's just go across this. There we go. We're going to take the Lancome Idol. I love the brush on this. I have a full size. I'm just trying to finish this one. Go over here. And now I want to go ahead and use this again because I like to use this to um, kind of blot the eyeliner, the eye mascara. Um, I'm going to use the Peachy Nude Lip Liner. I think I put a dot on my chin <laughs> from the swatches. And then we're going to go over it with this um, Huda Beauty Silk Balm. That's what's been on my lips. And it smells so good. It smells like Kool-Aid almost. <laughs> and we're going to go in with the YSL Sample YSL nude lipstick looks like this and go ahead and spray some more setting spray and that's all I think I hung that back up and I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Sorry, this video was so long. I'm about to record an empties video. But I do love the way this turned out. Let me see. Oh, and this is a shirt Jason got me from Colorado when he went with his friend at the beginning of the year. So, there we go. I could put some texture spray in my hair if I wanted to. Let's see. I try not to use a lot of products 
but I'm also trying to, today's a hair wash day, so, to give it more volume. Not that it needs it. If I use a volumizing um, blow dryer, oh gosh, my hair looked like a fro. Like, was. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I love you. And don't forget, the, the um, giveaway ends on the 15th. So, spread that awareness. Talk to you soon. Bye.